Hello. Good morning. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I know I look completely different at this moment. Like I went back in time a couple of years, right? I got some dragonflies flying around. They're so cool. Anyway, what was I going to talk about? <sighs> well, I got tired of the beard. Look like Neo after he got spit out of the battery tree, right? Got flushed down the tube. Except I got no attachments in the back that I know of. But I mean, it was 12:30 last time. I'm like, I can't stand this beard. It's just itching me. So I'm like, screw it. So I went down to the Chevron and across the street there's a little um, little shop where you buy you know stuff like that, features, magnets and stuff. I found a plug to, to plug to shave to use my electric trimmer. Looks like a coyote spit up a rabbit, but you know, hey, it, good lord, yeah, I'm just not used to hair. That was just me letting it go for a minute. But that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about Groundhog's Day. I watched it last night. Of course, it was broken up into pieces on YouTube, but it still worked. I love the movie. And it was the holiday movie, and it's always on TV when you're watching TV. I don't watch TV anymore. But, except for this. Kind of. <clears throat> but it was on, and it, I had an epiphany when I was watching that. You know, Every time that movie just gets me, because this guy is going through it, right? He starts this arrogant prick who just you know, has no sense of self-worth or anybody else's worth. Just going through it being a rude prick, right? And he goes through it slowly, slowly goes through it. And of course, falls in love with somebody and they want nothing to do with them and it's just complete rejection. And I thought about that. It's the ultimate Dark Knight movie for the soul because it is. He lives a thousand lifetimes to get it right, you know? And that's kind of what reincarnation is. It's basically a Groundhog's Day, except instead of living the same day over and over, you're living different lifetimes. Which, I, personally, I, and I thought about it, I was like, how lucky is he and he doesn't realize it? But the woman he's in love with, he gets to wake up every day and still be in the same town with her. Still, you know, he's always going to have contact with her, so. Now, of course, he realizes that, too. But Yeah, I just love that movie. Yeah. Bill Murray, though, <laughs> he's so amazing. Like I said, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's the man. I love Bill Murray. Um, with the Buffalo Rome, another great movie, his older one. A little more chaotic, but it was Hunter S. Thompson. But, yeah. I, that whole elephant clown thing, that that movie just, yeah. Yeah, I love you, Bill, but damn. Anyways, moving on. That's it. Just wanted to talk about that. I thought that was an amazing movie. And I just, I like I said, I've seen it a hundred times, and it just hit me. Like, that was a dark night of the soul movie. Constantly going through it, trying to kill himself every other way possible. <laughs> just miserable. And then he gives up on that and starts focusing on himself. And he starts getting better as a human being, playing music and reading poetry. Come on now. <sighs> anyway. I thought about when I was going to go to Muscle Shoals, what was I going to do? And I'm like, I have no delusions of being like Jimi Hendrix or anything. Some grand musician. But I'm like, you know how many one-hit wonders people just showed up and cut an album and then just walked away but the album was really cool I mean some even made it to you know number one right and like I said I'm, got, I'm doing so many things that it would be awesome just to cut an album to start and I'm learning I'm going to learn how to play it, instruments different kind and yeah I'm, I'm writing some songs right now I'm starting to write lyrics anyway and yeah I'm going to learn scales and I'm going for it it doesn't have to be like a career but it's like it's like almost like I want to build a sculpture. You have to start somewhere, and you have to go from there. And yeah, I want to do an album. I don't know what it's gonna be. I always thought about uh, a name for an album would be awesome if you're gonna do like cover songs. Call it Echoes Off the Canyon Walls. That would be so sick. Do like all kinds of different covers. I mean, from Roy Orbison to Neil Young, and I don't know, Scorpions. I don't know. You get the, the you know 60s music. 
I thought about that. I, I want to just go through the catalog and see what I can do. Maybe just do an acoustic version of all these awesome songs. I mean, everybody, when they start playing music, they always start as a cover band, right? Playing other people's stuff till you get really good and you're writing your own stuff. And, you know, it's normally how it works, unless you're, like, super genius gifted. And, like Mozart or Beethoven, you just start as a kid or whatever. But Anyway, yeah, so I thought that might be an interesting goal. So I'm not, like... You know, I'm not shooting for delusions of grandeur. Like, you know, I'm going to be like a blues star and all that stuff. Just cut an album and see what happens, babe, and walk away. You know, if that's it. I also thought about the Mississippi River and, and all the waterways around there. I, I was a boat captain for a minute and had my license. That'd be interesting. That was another story for another time, right? But anyway, um, I am going to do another video after this. It's going to be about... Um, um, supernatural creatures run around on this planet pretty much i've done some of the past mysteries mysteries when i was in montana i did a couple videos about fairies and things that i saw in videos but i just recently saw another video just a couple days ago that really kind of got me going hmm because it didn't make any sense but it was right there in front of you and yeah anyway i'll talk about that but anyway it'll be fun just shake it up you know try something of just all about loving yourself which you should so anyway i love you god loves you and the universe is really digging the fact you're working on yourself you survived thanksgiving <laughs> Yay. anyway have a great weekend i love you and look forward to that mysterious kind of supernatural creature video anyway okay love you and here's a desert <laughs>